I see. So you're here to kill Bjork as well. You too, huh? My father is dead because of him. I will not rest until the man dies by my hand. He had a lot to say about what's going on politically in the Empire right now. We'd like to find out how much of it is true. He took control of the Twin Swords of the Empire and made them attack the Emperor. Must have been his plan all along. Then he declared that Princess Excella was behind it, since the public thinks only she can control the Draco Machina. He allied with members of the royal family who fought my father ten years ago and denied my claim to the throne. Is that so? It beggars belief. Even the three spears have fallen under his control. I never imagined this could happen. What do you mean? My voice no longer reaches them. Seems like this Dragon Imperator thing lets Georg drown at her commands. So Georg now commands the Three Spears as well. That's less than ideal. Then maybe you could join us. What? We both want to defeat Georg, right? Then our chances would be better if we worked together. Neither of us can do this alone. But I... I want to be the one to kill him. I deserve his death. No. No. I'm giving in to my own hatred. I cannot sacrifice my good judgment for a personal vendetta. I suppose it's more important that he be stopped for the greater good. Very well. You have my word. From here on, I fight with you. But, can you truly accept my word? Until quite recently, I commanded the forces against you. I was your nemesis. I know we've been on opposing sides until now, but... I feel like we can trust you. A bold claim. What makes you so sure? I could tell when you cried for your father. Your allegiance doesn't change the fact that you're sincere and selfless. I... I think so, too. I mean, considering what happened, I was suspicious. But I think we can trust her. It's just... It's just that... Big surprise, you can't trust the Dark Elf who betrayed you, right? Hey, I don't mind. I'll get out of your hair. It's fine as long as I'm gone, right? Y yeah at least you finally realized it! Rina. What? Lady Kirika, don't look at me like that. What am I supposed to... We need to be honest with our feelings. Both of us. Mm. Beatrice, I want you to make me understand. Me and Lady Kirika. I never wanted to believe it. I still don't want to. I don't want to think of you as a traitor or a thief. So tell us what happened, in your own words. Make me see things your way, please, like you used to. <sighs> Fine. If you want to know what happened, I'll tell you. That night, I found a thief that had snuck into the treasury, right where the harmonics were kept. I didn't think. I just rushed in there to defend the harmonics. But before the thief escaped, they set fire to the storehouse. I ran around trying to put out the fire, but a crowd gathered and... Well... The usual prejudices took care of the rest. You heard, I'm sure. The Dark Elf betrayed us. The Dark Elf tried to steal the harmonics. We can't trust their kind. <sighs> A woman can only take so many slurs and insults before she starts wondering why she stays around. I was sick of it. I just wanted to protect the harmonics. After all, my best friend was going to wield one of them someday. But I'm a dark elf. So instead, I get called traitor, liar, and thief. Why should I expect anything else? I couldn't live like that anymore. 
When I imagined enduring that kind of abuse for the rest of my life, I had to get out. So I pushed them back. They grabbed at me, but I broke free and ran. You know what happened after that? I stopped caring about what they said about me once I was gone. <sighs> well, you wanted the truth, and now you've heard it. Not like I have any proof to back it up. Kind of nice to get it all off my chest, though. Guess I should get going. Beatrice. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I hope you can offend your father. Wait. Erna? Th thank you for telling us. What? I knew. Deep down, I knew you'd never do anything like that. But I was so afraid of trusting you. You just disappeared, and I didn't know who was telling the truth anymore. So I... I tried to suspect you. I really convinced myself that you meant to hurt us, but... Now that I've heard what happened, I... I believe you. I have to. Even if there's no proof, I know we were wrong. And I... And Lady Kirika, we... We love you! We'll never have another friend like you! I'm sorry! I am so sorry! I was so cruel to you! Beatrice, I'm so sorry! And I... I believed in you, and yet I did nothing to speak in your defense. Please, Beatrice, forgive me. You too. <laughs> hey, come on. It's all in the past now. You don't have to beat yourselves up over it. But I'm glad I got to hear how you two actually felt. So, Lady Kirika, Rena, I just want to say thanks. It would seem you finally come to an understanding. Yeah. I guess everything turned out okay. Thanks to you, Princess. I don't see how I had any part in this. More importantly, Beatrice, if you wish it, you are free to leave my service. I imagine you'd prefer to catch up with your old friends. That does sound nice, but you can't get rid of me that easy. I'm not leaving you alone, Your Highness. I'm with you. I see. I thank you, Beatrice. I thought I had lost everything, but... I still have you. Of course, Your Highness. Until the end. Well, until you get sick of me anyway.